And welcome back. This is Bobby Scoob with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I'm joined as always by my trusty team of Luke, Nova, and Bro. Gordon is along with us for the ride today. And when we last left off, we were trying to figure out how to save both Sid and Hilda, who seem to be under attack by the Dreadnought, or at least captured by it, or something like that. Now, let's take a look at a world map right here. now. We're, we're here at Altair. I know that the world map's kind of weird. Um, here's Plume. Here's over at uh, Poft, where the ferry is. Now, w uh, we were told to go northwest of Finn. Here's where Finn is, you know, up here. Now, if we go northwest of Finn, we'll see this glowing dot here. Now, the glowing dot was also on the ferry, so that must mean this is where the transportation is, which is where the airship should be. So it looks like that is our next destination up here. There are two ways that I know of to get there. And I am going to be taking the most direct way. Um, you can uh, go back to uh, Gassion and 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 was it Gassion? I think that's how you say it. And and get a chocobo, and that will make this journey a lot easier. But I'm just going to take this route because there are a couple new enemies along the way that I do want to show off. Plus, I want to show the most direct way of getting there, not always the, the, tricky the, the tricky, sneaky way of doing things. I do have a cottage on me in case worse comes to worse. I do have two of them, just, you know, just in case. Just in case. Now, you'll notice that I actually went into the river for most of this journey as much as I could. That's because you don't get in fights in the river, and so I just wanted to avoid the battles. But it doesn't look like we're, we're going to be able to do that the entire way. Eventually, I do have to get out of the canoe. Yeah, the ogres are back. Spike choices are back. It's not, it's not necessarily good times around here. We're going to just keep going north, though. Oh, we do have a new enemy here. I did get the first strike on these guys. These are Forest Rockos. And I am going to just see what, what my attacks do. Oh, got a critical for the win. Looks like I'm going to be able to take out two of them before they even get a chance to attack. Hopefully I can finish this guy off. No! He's still alive, and he, but he missed, so who cares? You can live for the rest of this turn for all I care. But you didn't. You died. Get 350 gil. And, uh, oh, Nova increased her bow skill. Nice. I believe she's up to level 5 on that now. Looks like we're almost there. We still haven't encountered the one enemy that I kind of wanted to show off. Uh, but that's okay if we don't see it. It is a new uh, wizard if we do come across it. And it happens to draw, drop uh, some, some scrolls along the way. Some stuff that we haven't even learned yet. So I do want to see it if, uh, if I come across it. Still, still, no. I haven't seen it. And I believe we are getting close to where it is. I believe it's right near. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is, the Warlock. And they get to attack first because they're dicks. Ugh. And of course there's a shit ton of them. Ugh, this is not going to be fun. Alright, you go ahead and attack. Uh, let's go ahead and cast fire on everybody. Everybody else just just attack. Yeah, they have some strong magic here. Stronger than ours, but luckily we are very bulky against magic as compared to our enemies. But those arrows are going to add up eventually. Is that enough to take them out? It is. But is fire enough to take out these soldiers? It should be. No. No, these guys are apparently strong against fire. Down goes one, and down goes the other. So that's a warlock. Let's see if we get a, a drop from him. Uh, there are some, you know, mid-level magics that we can learn from him. Something better than what we've already gotten. And wow, everybody gained something. We don't get a scroll, but they do drop them. Um, we do get a potion, though, and I will probably be needing that. All right, uh, let me just uh, drop a save while I'm out here, heal up a bit, and then we can head inside. One thing I should note before we go inside is the best spell that you can get from the Warlocks is the Berserk spell. Uh, if you want to level that up, um, and you probably will, this is a good time to do it, but I didn't get it, so I don't really feel like dwelling on that right now. So let's go ahead and go inside the Dreadnought. What's up, dude? 
Halt, who goes there? Now, you may have forgotten, but somebody told us somewhere in one of the towns that we needed a pass to get on the Dreadnought, so here's our pass. Sweet. Excuse me, sirs. Go, go ahead. Oh, time for the next watch. And then he just bolts. He's like, I let these people in. Now I can't be held responsible for them. And there's random battles inside the Dreadnought. Like, really? Really. Against balloons and mines. Now this has the same rules as Finn. Don't talk to any of the soldiers here, because they will battle you, and they are captains, I believe. They could be sergeants. I think they're actually sergeants, which was a boss, if you remember. Huh. The prison cell's empty. I want the treasure! But I can't get inside. Oh, wait. I think there's a secret passage. Nice. And we get the crescent and a fight. What do we have this time? We have two warlocks, a soldier, and two sergeants, it looks like. We're going to go ahead and attack. We're going to cast fire. Because we want to kill it all with fire. Oh, he's got to die after that. That's got to be plenty of damage to kill him. Is fire enough to kill the rest? Probably not the other sergeant, but hopefully the rest... No! Damn it. Uh, how about you cast ice on everybody? Uh, you go ahead and focus on him. Fire! Five! Yeah, luckily... I don't know why we're so strong against fire, but they are not. Down goes a couple warlocks. Arrows, three! Ah, it doesn't do that much damage. But this is probably going to be a very long dungeon. Ah, I feel like I've wasted that ice because Nova win last. Is that enough for the win? It is. They are weak to ice, apparently, but not to fire. Luke's magic defense. Nice magic defense. And we finally do get Berserk as well as Poison. I don't really care about the Poison, though. I'm gonna... You know what? Let's go ahead and do this all on screen because I do need to change Gordon's equipment to the Crescent anyways. Look at that. It's up to 36 from 31. Plus it casts Curse. Nice. So he's still gonna be our Cursor, uh, but he now has a more powerful sword. Now where is that Berserk scroll? I am going to teach that right away to... Uh, we're going to put that on Luke. Um, because it's technically... I still consider it a white mage spell. Eh, let's go ahead and sort these. Alright. Now back out of here we go. I want to go up the stairs, I believe. And, oh, there's a treasure over here. 400 gil. And through here is the trap room again. What's the trap enemy in this dungeon? We do have... Mines. Once again. So, instead of that room, you want to go all the way over here to the east. Oh, we do have some new enemies here. These are Were Panthers. And I'm just going to use the regular attacks on them. And hopefully they die very quickly. Holy crap! That's no good. At least they died uh, uh, eventually. Oh man, this is not looking good right now. These guys need to die as soon as possible. There we go. Alright, I am going to heal up. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to heal up and I'll be right back. Alright, we want to go to the east as much as you can, and then up to these stairs over here. And up these stairs and through this door, we do find the stairs down to floor number two. I do want to go to the east first. Hey! I see Sid and Hilda. They're in the same place. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Oh, we do have new enemies. We have Stunners! I'm still trying to level up ice, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And Gordon just keeps missing with that crest, and he is starting to piss me off with that thing. I'm considering putting the Ancient Sword back on him just because he does not seem to hit at all. And apparently ice sucks against these yellowish... I don't even know, what, what would you call them? Mice? I guess? Really? Zero damage? 
Garden. Garden. You need to hold your own here, man. I mean, even my black mage is doing more physical damage than you are right now. And you're supposed to be one of my attackers, Gordon. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Over here we get two potions. Now, there's no secret passage on this side. Don't, don't, don't bother spending time making a way to get in there. Did I say the crescent put people to uh, give them curse? Um, I apologize. It puts them to sleep. Little different. Little different. Okay, we continue down here and we get a shade bow, which should be an upgrade for Nova. It is. What does it look like? Uh, wow, 34 from 22, and it can blind. Nice. This should work out well for her. I believe there is a new uh, learning curve every time you uh, re-equip somebody with a new weapon. Oh, we do have new enemies here. These are ghasts. I don't believe we've seen them before, but I believe they burn. So I'm just going to use that to, to, to the best of my ability. Or at least to Nova's ability, since she learned how to use fire much more effectively than me. Yeah, race, they, they use absorb. They're dicks like that. And the gas did not die. Freaking purple zombies. See, now Gordon's g getting some work done with, with the crescent. So I believe there is a learning curve to all the weapons. You know, for a couple battles, you probably won't be able to use it well. I'm not sure, though. Not sure. And in this treasure chest, we get the thieves' gloves, which I do believe I want to put on Luke, like, immediately. Let me, let me take a look here. Thieves' gloves. Yeah, look at that. Boost agility up to 34, or boost agility and defense up to 34. That is definitely good for me. And everybody else is on mithril gloves, except for Gordon. I guess you can, I guess you can take them. Why not? You can take all my leftover equipment. Now going over here, the iron bars were forced open. Why can't we do that with the other iron bars? Whatever. Princess Hilda. Yes, we must kneel again. It is so good to see you. I'm afraid they captured us when we came for you. Well, let's go. Hurry. Seriously? That's it? What about you, Sid? I'll take the princess to the airship. Look for the engine and toss the sunfire into it. This biggie will blow up then, so I'll have my baby ready for takeoff. Sweet! And off they go. Very, very slowly. Are you sure you guys are high enough level to handle all of it? Ah, uh, whatever. And Will, will you be able to escape the Dreadnought? It looks like we're going to have to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. When we come back, we will make our daring escape. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.